Hi, I'm Angus from Wise Investment. Uh, I'm joined by Ian from Whitley Stimson. And today we're looking at how you might go about reducing your January tax bill. So Ian, I gather there's uh, one main thing that you can do to reduce an immediate tax bill uh, that might be upcoming this January. Thanks Angus, absolutely. As uh, I've just written to the majority of my clients advising them of their, their January tax bill, I'm getting asked this question quite a lot at the moment. Um, the, the, the main thing that you could consider uh, where you can still carry back the relief um, and reduce the tax that's payable this January is by making a, a gift aid donation, but you have to elect, and it's the election that's very important, um, before the 31st of January this year for it to relate to the, the previous year. Um, so if you are considering a, a charitable donation or you are making regular donations, you might want to think about this uh, to reduce your bill slightly. Right, excellent. So if you're, you're, you're feeling flush and generous, you can, you can help people out and also immediately help uh, yourself. Absolutely. And we're seeing more and more of it through, uh, you know, with the, the issues that lots of people are facing at the moment. Um, I think it has uh, brought out the philanthropic side of, uh, of people a lot more. Great. That's terrific. But there, there used to be a, uh, a way with pensions years ago that you could basically do the same thing by making pension contributions for a previous year but that's actually no longer allowed. No, absolutely, and, and so pension contributions are probably much more up, up your street and uh, you can give the advice on those, uh, but they're very much a forward-looking uh, tool now. That's right, so um, very briefly, usually an individual can put up to £40,000 into, uh, into a pension each year and get tax relief at their marginal income tax rate. So looking ahead, if you want a smaller tax bill next year, if you could think about making a lump sum pension contribution this year, then you'll have a less of a nasty shock next year. Absolutely, and not one to go into now, but uh, might be a case of striking whilst the iron's hot because we seem to have talk every year of pension relief being restricted, and at the moment we're uh, safe until, until April. So it seems, yeah. We'll yeah. see what happens on that score. Uh, but yes, take action now if you if you have the scope to do so. Absolutely, and then the, I think the final thing that we see people doing each year, uh, and it's just part of really solid financial planning, and I'm, again, I'm sure it's something that you advise on, um, is transferring or fully utilising your ISA allowance each year. Um, you can now contribute, I think, 20,000? 20, 20,000 a year has been at that level for, for a few years now. And as a steady build-up of a, of a very tax-efficient pot of money, uh, it can really work well over the long term. So, you know, I have some clients who have built up fairly significant sums in ISAs, sometimes up to seven figures, where they can draw income from that entirely tax-free, you know, at possibly 30,000, 40,000 a year. So although it's not an immediate win, it's, it's, a, it's a long drip drip of eventually a, a very tax efficient um, way of investing money. So definitely worth looking at. Yeah, ab absolutely. Um, so I think the, they were the, the three main points that we could see for people being able to reduce their January tax payment. Um, if any of those have been of any interest, then uh, please do give Angus or I a, a call. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, Make sure you like, comment or subscribe to our channel.